please welcome the wonder that is Kenneth Branagh, everybody. Oh. Kenneth Branagh. Hello, Kenneth. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Mr. B. How are you? I'm very well. Very it's well. Very, very nice welcome. This They're is a very, 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 very nice audience. Lively crowd here. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank well, you. I appreciate really, it. Really, they are very nice, and I think many of them, not all of them, but many of them are sexually attractive. <laughs> I think I'm getting a sense. I'm getting a real sense. Is it the pheromones that are coming across? It's, the, it may well be, or it uh, may be the swine flu. You uh, don't it know. It could be that. It could be that. Does very, that have a sexual element? In my house, it does. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Just I don't know what it is, but I'll but try. But it's working for you. Okay. It, why not? Yeah. Uh, um, I I am very excited by the Wallander. I've seen it over in Britain. Oh, have you really? Yes, okay. I saw it back over there because you're Swedish in that, aren't you? I am Swedish, but yes. we're speaking, I could tell by the glasses English, in the, the glasses, clip. Glasses, yes, slightly <laughs> Swedish glasses. And I was typing Swedish. Did you notice that? I did not. Ah, oh, no, I'm multi typilingual Do you so. speak? Do you speak um, sweet Swedish? I, yeah, Swedish. Yeah. Okay, so I can speak a little bit of Swedish. Oh, uh, very good. A tiny bit, but I'm no. sorry, I can't understand you, uh, Kenneth. It's... Well, <laughs> I have acquired the language over many years. Oh yeah, no, it's so. This is remarkable. I'm sorry, we can. Uh, I'll subtitle this later yeah, on. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> that's fantastic. Did you did you make it in Sweden? We shot it in Sweden in a town called Ustad in Skåne, oh, in right. southern Sweden, which is a beautiful part of the I've world. I've been there. Have you? I haven't been to. <laughs> but yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet I've been to <laughs> Stockholm. Yeah. And now what did now what did you make of the? Uh, I, I liked I liked the Sweden. Yeah. And do you what do you what do you think of the Swedes? Did it? There's anything because our our series has this I think quite sort of unusual atmosphere for in Skåne it's a very big landscape. And there's time to think, and it's like the Midwest, really. Yes, bit. it yeah, is yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. There's this. What? Well, but it is. It, it is. Really, honestly, it is. You know, it's it's like, a bit like the weird. Dakotas or something, isn't yeah, it? And they talk a little bit like that in the Dakotas. Exactly. Too, you know? You've seen how many westerns where you've heard people go, "Hello, how are you?" Well, um, well, actually, not many. Westerns. Not many westerns, yeah, not many westerns, westerns though. Westerns. To be fair, uh, Swedish westerns though. Oh yeah, um, they must be good. Western Sweden, yeah. where men are. Yeah. Are. Well, there were spaghetti westerns, definitely spaghetti westerns, and there are smorgasbord westerns. Oh. And this is one of those herring westerns. Herring. Now, do you eat herring? Only when I'm in Sweden. Do you? No, I've right. eaten herring. But I, uh, not herring. Yes, you've I've eaten, eaten herring? Yeah. Right, that would make you... Then, then you've got the American Humane League I need to talk yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, no, RSPCA. it's too late. It's my secret's out. I eat herring <laughs> and swan. Oh, no. Uh, oh, God. Nothing I like better on a Sunday oh. afternoon, a bit of swan on the oh, bar. But... You know you can't do that. You know the back home, the, 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 they're absolutely protected. The, the, and you know the person who owns all the swans in the, England? The Queen. Is the Queen. Yeah, the yeah, queen. she owns all the swans. You can't go like, I own all England. the swans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they all belong to me. So <laughs> they are like my army of beautiful birds. <laughs> That's right. And they she all will use the, them. They wear all the uniforms and everything. Yeah, they, and the... she uses them to oppress the peasants. That's right, yeah. <laughs> That's, it's, it's a huge problem a in our country. Problem over Sw there. Swan oppression. Swan oppression. Oh, the times I've been the swans march into the town. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. Late, late at night, you're coming out of the pub and it's. Oh, like yeah, that, yeah. You know, and it's hey, you come know. on, man. Come on. Don't oppress me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, and now but, in uh, Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, no, I, they have herring, not herring. They have herring, and they, they, there are two versions of herring. Uh, they're both pickled. It depends. They're distinguished by the length of time. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that, by the way. Uh, uh, I think. Let me I get a bit closer. This, right this, is, this is. This is. Oh, they're lovely, actually. Oh, they're they are lovely. lovely. And that. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Literally, Take that, Shakespeare. Literally, uh, like, like <laughs> stainless steel. It was like oh, touching yeah, yeah. iron or plutonium. Yeah, it is. Um, Uranium-236. I tell you, it, and it worked for me. I Thank feel, you. I feel charged. Hello. Um, <laughs> Uh, the herring, the herring is, uh, you know, depending on how long you 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 marinated for. Right, you've yeah. done it many times. I'm I've sure. never marinated the herring. Have you not? Um, well, and by that I mean had sex with a man. Obviously, <laughs> no. I, you've never. Oh, you know all that code, don't you? Um, uh, that's really all, all that Swedish nightclub yeah, talk. It hasn't escaped yeah, you. No, I remember um, it all now. Would but, you like to marinate a herring? <laughs> yes. Perhaps you would like to be pickled for a long time or a short time. Uh, yes. Um, do do you have a favourite time of herring pickle that you like? I like, I like a short time, but with a lot of vinegar. Ah. Um, 
Uh, the, the herring is so difficult to eat, I think. It's yeah, my no, friend, it's... my Swedish friends uh, encouraged me uh, all the way through the show, and we're going back to make some more walladers back in Sweden this summer. Uh, encouraged me to eat herring. It's not going to happen. It's, like, it's, it's either leathery or it's rubbery, in my view. Right. No, we, like we... seal blubber. Have you ever eaten seal blubber? <laughs> is is, is that, that code? That is code oh, also, yeah. actually. But... Uh, <laughs> But, but that's in Icelandic clubs, yeah, actually. Yes, no. I've I, eaten seal blubber in Iceland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't eaten seal but blubber. But I have eaten Icelandic seal blubber. Well, aren't you the well, big old Mr. Yeah. Swanky Pants? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, my, my experience... My, my experience of pickles across the clubs of Northern Europe... <laughs> Uh, it's not what I expected. <laughs> this, this, uh, this is the way this conversation went the last time. Craig. You're a bad, you're a bad, bad influence all on right, me. Right, I'm well, let's trying get... to talk about a distinguished detective procedural right, crime right. drama on PBS on May 10th. Right, right. Um, right. And, here... and, and I tell you what, it looks sensational as well. Now, do you do you eat a lot of uh, pickled fish or prepared vegetables in there? I... I eschewed the world of pickled herring in the show. Right. But we have many other things that are Swedish. See, now that's how you know that you're a very, very experienced actor because you don't want to eat something in a scene because then you have to do all different shots oh, and you have to eat it again and again and clever. again. My uh, second job on film was uh, I, I was part of a, a dinner party scene in a TV film and on the first day, uh, and it was four or five pages of dialogue, about five minutes of um, uh, the film, and they were serving an English Sunday roast and they said, we'll do a master the entire scene all five minutes off you go uh, they serve it and I so I ate I completed my plate full of roast beef Yorkshire pudding all of these vegetables yeah. and all the rest they said right now we're gonna do it again uh, and we'll we'll do the whole five minutes again right. I started that three days later <laughs> um, I was still, by, by that, I mean, I couldn't look at another roast potato. No, no. At no. this stage, if the camera was doing that, I'd go like that, and then I'd spit it out. Yeah, and, yeah. It just, and so that's what you see. Most actors, they do a food scene now. They do, do that, and there's hardly anything taken. Most actors don't eat, actually, anymore. <laughs> no, and it's a, yeah. exactly. No, they can't, you know, because, you know, you get more than... 20 pounds, you can't work, apparently. Exactly, exactly, I, exactly. So I, I learned my lesson Are you hungry, on. by the way? Are you hungry right now? Because we, we've done nothing but talk about food since you come out. You realise that? I'm not hungry. No, the whole herring thing's put me off it now. I feel oh, as really? I want to... I want oh, to we were talking some... about food? We uh, were talking about... Well, well uh, yeah, we were talking about food. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> Um, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, I I am a, I like the Wallander I, uh, show. I think that it's very very interesting character. I do like the complicated detectives. Are you a fan of because I like them in literature as well. I like. Yes. Uh, do you ever read uh, Larry Block or uh, Michael Connolly Michael or Connolly, uh, Dennis yeah. Lehane? Yes, I, yes, yeah. Oh, they're excellent. And I love I love when uh, a complicated plot well, really makes you want to turn the pages. You really want to know what happens next. But it, in the middle of it is a complicated character. Uh, in the case of Wallander, he's an ordinary man he's doing this extraordinary job he encounters violence and death all the time and the crucial thing he wants to know inside uh, a world where he has his own troubled life he has difficulties with his daughter difficulties with his with his wife who's, who's, who's left him is why that's quite difficult uh, when your wife leaves that's that's known as difficult uh, yes uh. it is tricky i think he finds it tricky it is. and i think he's a bit cross um, uh, to say I, the I, least. I, it's all the... Because maybe he sometimes gets served herring that's been pickled for a long he's, time. I mean, he's, he's, got, a short time. Uh, he's got a fridge full of herring, Craig, and yeah. he does not want it. He doesn't want it. <laughs> what are not, we saying here, not, the fridge full of herring? Yeah, well, you see, and that's where you see Swedish unafraid of metaphor, you see. <laughs> so he's got a fridge full of metaphor. Right, right. Um, and he's not afraid to use it. Yeah, he's not afraid to spread it on a piece of toast every now and again. Right. But... Um, <laughs> And I think I'm talking about either the herring or the metaphor. Fair enough. Um, and if you don't understand <laughs> subtext, you won't enjoy the show anyway. Guys, <laughs> Brown, <Brown-Eye>, everybody. <laughs>
You're very it's a bit it's, of an electric blue. It's is it very, too very much? No, no, it's good. It matches your eyes. No, matches your eyes. Matches your eyes. No, really. No, matches your eyes. No, no, really. No. Are you really wearing contact lenses? Yeah, yeah, I am. Really? And do you, are they hard or soft? <laughs> it's, a, it's a legitimate question. And I am about to answer it. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to thank you. One hard, one soft. Both truly, soft. truly, both they're both soft. soft but yeah, they're soft. Are they disposable? You throw them away at the end. Yeah, you throw them away after a month. You put them in for a month, but you take them out at night, and then after a month, you throw them away and put in new ones. Okay. Would well, you have contact lenses? Uh, no, I've started to wear glasses, um, and uh, I, I'm just a bit, uh, I, um, a bit of a. You had laser beam. Things, laser beams, so? yeah, yeah, laser beams, right? I'm my very eyes. Very sensitive. Now, was, and now, I mean, it's a silly question, but you have to. I'm sorry to be so sort of stupid about it, but mm. you have to keep your eyes open, obviously. Yes, yes it's like and, it's like and, well, you know that thing you do that whole acting thing. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know yes. that whole staying still and pointing your eyes in a, the right direction? Oh, you sounds, only have to do it. Sounds weird. Yeah. No, no. I've seen you do it in films. Oh, thank that you. Hamlet, you stayed still and pointed your eyes in directions many times over. Oh, I do. Well, I tried my best. Right, right. So. But, but do, do, are there, is something doing it like. like, like, like uh, yeah, it's like Clockwork Orange. Oh, they put that oh, clamp gosh. on your eye. Oh, and there's that Mel Gibson film, Patrick Stewart does it to yeah, torture yeah. Mel Gibson. That's right. It? And then. I, and then uh, the, the guy comes in and he pokes you in the eye with his finger. Oh, to, to, gosh. Not because he has to, just because he's a bastard. All right, okay. <laughs> and then, were you good about that? Did you have, did you have no fear about that going in? I no, mean, I it was just terrified. makes me go, it makes everything. No, they don't touch you down no, there. No, no, it's just. Well, they will, but you have to yeah. pay extra. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's good. You've got a number? You've got a, it I, I, doesn't matter. No, no, no. I, I think oh. you enjoy it. You can combine it with a Thai massage. Oh, uh, well, thank you very much. Well, OK, I'll definitely take the card. But, so, well, I'm, I admire you. I admire you, because I think that's... Well, so for, for the eye thing? For the eye thing, yeah. I think it's... Uh, it's I, I it's squeamish. Well, you, are you a generally a squeamish person? Well, when you have to take blood for a medical or whatever, do you look? Do you, do you just are you happy? I can't to give see? blood. You can't give blood. No, I had malaria. Oh, crikey! Yeah. Oh. Have you ever had malaria? No, I haven't. So you don't. Um, so you don't know if I'm lying then. Uh, <laughs> You're confusing yeah. me. Have you had blood? Have you had <laughs> malaria? <laughs> Ha have you had malaria? I, no, I haven't had malaria. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, not yet. I, we, I, we we you, you did well, have I malaria. <laughs> no, all right then. No, I'm, I'm, I'm getting better at the squeamish thing, but I do admire people who are very good about all that stuff. Do you happening. get flu shots at flu season? No. <laughs> you're uh, living, you're, you're living well, on the edge. I, well, I, they call me crazy. I, I, um, but I take lots of vitamin C and things, and things that I can swallow easily. <laughs> These are genuine questions. I I'm know. Trying. I know. I'm... Kenneth, I feel your pain. Every time I say something in my accent, they think I'm being filthy. I'm just trying to impart <laughs> some information. And everybody... Do you notice that people think if you have any kind of European accent, British, you know, English, Scottish, French, anything, everybody thinks you're talking about sex all the time when you're in America? Uh, I, I'm beginning to feel that. Right. Uh, <laughs> But, but uh, if you'll pardon the expression, but, but uh, uh, no, I hadn't, I hadn't. But I, I'm going to keep a weather eye out for it uh, right from this point on. <laughs> Whatever I mean by no. that. <laughs> <laughs> now, just tell me about the film. You're, uh, the film is yeah. called Pirate Radio. It was written and directed by the brilliant uh, Richard Curtis. I know Richard Curtis. He's a smashing fellow. He, he wears glasses. He does wear glasses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, an absolute coward when it comes to laser stuff. Yeah, no, oh, he's, he's feeble, he's, he's weak. He's very, very good writer and director, but when it comes to putting contact lenses scary. in, or he's useless. He's scary yeah. boy, he's scary boy. <laughs> all he can do is write brilliant films and direct yeah. brilliantly. That's all, but that's yeah. all. Where's you that going to get you in the, exactly. in the eye doctors? Well, yeah, exactly. Not very far. Yeah. But it's, about, but it's called Pirate Radio. It's about a time that you'll know all about. In around 1967, when the UK government were trying to suppress popular music, rock and pop music, being played by disc jockeys who broadcast illegally from the North Sea on ships. Radio Caroline, I see Radio Caroline was one yeah, of them yeah, that, was, that right. featured an American uh, DJ called Emperor Roscoe. I remember Emperor. Yeah. He, used to, he, went, he went on to be on Radio 1 after that, that's didn't right, he? Yeah. yeah. It was, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it sounds sort of weird, but 
it was it was a point in England where everything was sort of uh, breaking up. You know, people wearing suits and ties and the, having their hair very short were met by seeing the Beatles on television and the kind of cultural revolution expanding. And there was fashion in London LSD, was leading the world. All LSD, stuff. all yeah, that stuff. Yeah. Uh, yes. Have and, you ever taken LSD? I haven't. I, uh, I'm, um, <laughs> anyway, to get on with the film, uh, the uh, no, I, no, I haven't. No, I haven't taken LSD. You have. I haven't taken LSD. No, I, no. All right, not tonight. No, I haven't. Not tonight. No, I haven't. I haven't taken LSD. Uh, the, what what the, have you taken? The thought is alarming. <laughs> I've taken a long time to come to a mature position about such things. Ah, that's what I've taken. I see. Uh, no, I haven't taken anything. Um, uh, that was, and that wasn't my nose growing. Nah. Um, <laughs> Um, meanwhile, back at this film, oh, yes, which yes, is yes, very yes, funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah the very Emperor funny. Roscoe, who was the... Now, this is when, before DJs were kind of... That's when they used to talk. Nowadays, yeah. they wear their hats sideways and go... You could tick, 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 tick. <laughs> but then they used to be, uh, now here comes a record and everything else. They were, and also, it was a kind of conduit to America. It was the pirate radio stations were, were unleashing, you know, the British sound and lots of American music. It felt... It felt I was a kid, I was seven years old in 67, uh, that some kind of extraordinary en energy was being unleashed. And it was the kind of thing you used to listen to on a very small transistor radio with a tiny little earpiece yeah, late to, yeah. at night, you know, and you'd hold it up and try and retune a terrible signal because they were broadcasting from the North Sea. And the government and the character I play in the film, Dormandy, is a minister, and there was such a minister literally trying to trying pass to stop young an people. act of legislation to stop people listening to the radio. Stop Where is listening. that guy now when the Jonas Brothers are around? That's what yeah. I am. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh. Hey, hey, you oh. get your money, shut up! <laughs> Don't mind them. <laughs> no, well, now, uh, what kind of music were you listening to then when you were uh, young? Well, I was very aware of the Beatles as the world was, and so that was the, they, they sort of led the charge for me. But the Rolling Stones, and then lots of, lots of brilliant, there was the whole series of groups from Liverpool that followed the Beatles. Jerry and, and the Ch Pacemakers. Jerry and the Pacemakers, yeah. Freddie and the Dreamers. Um, um, oh, yeah, Freddie remember? and the Dreamers yeah. with yeah. Freddie Garrity. He yes. wore glasses. He wore glasses. He was, <laughs> he was he famous for wearing curly glasses. And, and very, very curly hair. Yeah. yeah. And, and he used to sing a song and then put his finger through his glasses to show that there was no glass in his glasses. That was kind of his trick. OK. <laughs> you don't remember that, do you? I don't. That must have been very funny. <laughs> uh, do... Funny enough for this show, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> uh, put I, that in. I, Tomorrow night, I'll do something without the glasses. <laughs> I think I do remember that. But the, the film has wonderful music, and, and Richard Curtis has such... One of the things that he really taps into in his films is it's such good-hearted pleasure. There is such... He writes such good films. He, he, he? Yeah, does. Yeah. He really has. He's a smart man. He's, he's a, a really re exceptional artist. He's a good man, he's a, and he's, a, he's just sort of politically active in all the right kind of ways. And, but in his movies, he's But he does... I, I should point out to an American audience, he does have red hair. Uh, well, I suppose without without suggesting for a second that he is he's, he's getting on a bit, it's a little. I would say it's a it's it's a I sensational a silvery kind of silvery fox kind of look Ooh. with a little bit of blonde in it. Oh. Still highly sexy and gorgeous and movie starish. Not exactly red at the moment. <laughs> um. I wonder if this silver fox has travelled all over his body, or if parts of him still remain. <laughs> Hey, I'm not have you ever position. neared yourself? I beg your pardon? Near. It's this amazing stuff you put on your body. It's like a cream. You put it on your body and you wait a couple of minutes, then you wipe it off and it takes all the hair off your body. It's awesome! <laughs> is, this, is this a real product? It's a real thing, is isn't it? Okay. Yes! OK, I grew up on something that, that ladies used, uh, which, was, uh, which my mother used, which was called Imac. Mm. The IMAC was something that if there was... I thought a... she was married to David Bowie. Uh, well, <laughs> and she may well have developed this. I believe if there are, challenge... if there are challenges for the lady in the upper lip department right. or, in, or in other parts, that IMAC was a kind of version of a kind of waxing thing where you took it and there was a strip and you pulled oh, no, it off. Oh, no, and... no, no, no. This no? stuff is... Oh, we, we've moved on from oh, that. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. A Stone Age. Yeah, no, that, that, that is, that's, that's old school. OK. No, already. nowadays you get this stuff in a cat. How does it come? Do you, uh, it how... did a... How does what in what way <laughs> in what way do you apply the well, you get a, you of get which a, you, you speak right well you get this can and you squirt it onto your your herstut area yes, right yes. and then wait a couple of minutes and wipe it off with a towel and on the towel will be all the hair on that area does it is it lit free. literally you wipe it off with a towel yes uh, is there some chemical process that hurts. 
Probably. It's probably no, gay. No, I hear, a, I hear a very strong no from, no, a, no. from a big time near user out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, it's it's fascinating to me. I, I once I did it with my whole body. I shaved my entire body. I did completely really? everything. I looked like a giant baby. It was awesome. Oh, goodness. <laughs> did, and did Lady Ferguson approve of this? No, nah, this was pre-Lady Ferguson. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't be allowed to do stuff like that no. now. Are you kidding me? She no. prefers Rufty Tufty Craig? Well, she, you know, she likes Uneven something surfaces. a little more bearish. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this film sounds excellent, I have to say. <laughs> this film is excellent. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shamelessly say that Philip Seymour Hoffman is He's marvellous in it. Red hair. Yeah, a wonderful actor, as you know, a marvellous actor. Bill Nye. Very, very uh, funny. Yes, I love excellent. Bill Nye. Excellent. Also, Reese fans, marvellous actor from Tall. Notting Hill. Yep. Tall and terrific. Nick Frost, marvellous British comedy actor. And a bunch of, of uh, January Jones from here, wonderful and beautiful, talented actress from here. And she's in it. It's, it's a wash. <laughs> it's a wash with people. Is she in the audience? No, I, I, I've heard that name, though. Who is that? She's on Mad Men. Yeah. I've never seen that show. <laughs> Treat her head for you. Is it a good show? I've it never seen it. Very much so. I, everybody loves it. It always wins Emmys and everything, and I'm like, I don't have cable, so I can't see it. Well, um, we, 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 we could get you a, a tape or something. By we, do you mean the British uh, government? The British government. <laughs> I'm prepared to... We could get you a tape uh, of this We could show. get you a tape, Ferguson. Yes. If you uh, want to see Mad Men, we can get you an entire Have you heard set. of video recorders? <laughs> <laughs> we do have a couple left. <laughs> Since the Soviets fell, we have no need for them. I tell you, there's a, there's a stockpile. Your name's on one of them. Yeah, I'd love that. A video recorder. I'm oh. moving into the late 19th century. Excellent. <laughs> Kenneth, it's always a pleasure to see you. And I, I really want to comment again on your sweater, which is just uh, fabulous. Well, uh, I, I think you're saying that. I think it's it's laced with irony. No! The, the... No, oh, I like okay. it. I genuinely okay. like it. I'm not clever enough to lace things with irony. I, I, don't know. I, I think you're I think you're both clever enough and I think you're a beautiful lacer. <laughs> Get in front of everybody! I can see. <laughs>
Are you in therapy? Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you having trouble with success? Is that what it is? You're going to therapy because I don't deserve it. I don't know what it is. Yes, Kenneth Wells, this is a problem. Maybe if you wear the check trousers. Do, do you know what? Maybe it's a, yes, now I'm beginning to see it. I think it's uh, doing scenes with Tony Hopkins, like the one you oh, yeah, yeah. saw. Was just, uh, that makes me scared. I'm so glad that I didn't annoy Tony during the course of he this He can film. be quite tough. Well, he would, well yeah. he'd certainly cast you out, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah no, no, but actually, uh, yeah, I, uh, you, you, of course, I know Tony a little bit uh, outside of the world of acting, and he can be quite a tough gentleman when well, he wants to be. Well, he's like the rest of his passionate Celt, isn't he? Yeah. So, so he's a wonderful, he, complex, complicated fellow. I went Best to, ones to work with. I went to the uh, uh, British Academy dinner oh, here, British, and yeah. I was sitting at uh, Tony, uh, Tony's table, and he said, uh, after a long, a lot of speeches about, uh, in the beginning, <laughs> the importance of film in America. <laughs> And he was sitting there, and you could see he was seething. He was getting more and more bored, and he said, Oh, you know what, Craig, I Crikey dinga. hate this. <laughs> he said, you know what we should do? Start a fight. <laughs> do Sir Anthony Hopkins and I can start a fight? He said, I'll start a fight with you. <laughs> I'll, I'll start hitting you, and that'll draw a commotion, and we can get the uh -oh. out of this place. <laughs> well, see, now that's a very... Then you don't have therapy, do you? you no, do that and well, you I don't know. I, I think he's a little bonkers, which makes... Makes him a good actor. Bonkers uh, is good. Did you know that I had once fought with a one-armed kangaroo? <laughs> you intrigue me. Many years ago. Picture the scene, if you will. A young will. man, a young man uh, on the verge of a showbiz career, hopefully, yes. finds himself awash in Australia doing a television series called The Boy in the Bush. Oh, um, hello. I think I saw a film. Uh, yes. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think there have been. I can't believe that was you. Yeah. <laughs> you let yourself go. Uh, there, there have been. Uh, there have been different versions, oh, right, obviously. Yeah, there have yeah, been yeah. different versions. This, I may have been involved in a remake. Right, right. Uh, which in this case involved a young English boy going to Australia. Right. Uh, as part of sort of growing up and becoming a man. Um, yeah, it, that sounds like the one I saw. Yes, okay. I... Um, he has to go through various uh, trials and experiences. Yep, same movie. Uh, <laughs> And one of them involves, in this case, a one-armed kangaroo. Okay, yeah, no, no, you've a lost different, me now. Yes, yeah, a yeah, different yeah, picture yeah. at that stage. Yeah, we, 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 we took a different, uh, a different tack. You fought a kangaroo then? Uh, there was, an, uh, believe me, no animals were harmed in the making of this picture. Yeah. But nevertheless, this uh, showbiz kangaroo, mm. uh, uh, who previously had lost an arm in a fight with another kangaroo, had become a staple of... May I interrupt you just a second? Yes. Uh, it, just, Sorry. Just, just, it's difficult to follow. No, 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 no. It's, it's, very, I just, it's just a, a scientific point. When a kangaroo loses an arm, it's not like a crab. It doesn't grow another one or anything, does it? Uh, this, you're absolutely right. Right, right go to, Carry you on, carry you're on. You're all over. You're, right. It's, it's perfect. Uh, and so, uh, but the thing is that he was, uh, he was very game for this particular uh, thing, which involved a, a rival of my characters setting me up, if you'll pardon the expression, with the one-armed kangaroo uh, by what by way of testing my metal, um, and so I was required to, well, because, well, you know, I've got to become a man and go back to England and know who I am. By fighting a one-armed kangaroo. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've all done it. Uh, we've all done it. I, I um, wish I could, you know, say that I hadn't, but I have, exactly. in a way. And you'll know the technique. It's very friendly, because you mustn't hurt the kangaroo. The kangaroo must be loved up at all times. Be mm -hmm. very, very happy. Enjoy the kangaroo. Enjoy the kangaroo. Be with the kangaroo. Right. And essentially also tuck the good kangaroo arm under, the, under one armpit while you carefully hold and happily balance the kangaroo with the other part of the arm. I think we're remaining. back to the movie I originally saw. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, well, uh, and, and so, and then I suppose in all honesty, Honesty, the fight is not so much a fight as a kind of a jiggle um, and so so if you're ever in that situation again that's all you need to do because you mm. mustn't hurt them mustn't stress them. no 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 you I would I would, I would I, I'm a, a great fan of kangaroos I yeah. would I, 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 I would have one here if I could afford one that's what I've yeah. heard um, yeah. and and so uh, I came out of it I thought the victor in the television series and uh, and shook indeed the one hand available to me of the kangaroo nice. afterwards and, nice touch and and, yeah. and all all was well and uh, you can see it uh, it is available on DVD, The Boy in the Bush. You can't come here promoting some Australian... <laughs> some 20-year-old <laughs> Australian porno you did. You're the world's most successful film director this week. You can't go say, oh, I was in a porn once in Australia. <laughs> this is not it's the just... time. This is the time to move on. 
Rasta <laughs> Academy Award. Okay. All right. Let me. I must put my one-armed kangaroo stories. Put it behind you, man. Put it. It's great. Well, I try to put it behind me. That's the problem. Anyway, yeah. moving on. Rah. Moving on. Yes. Thank you very much. No, that's nice. So, what are you going to do now? How do you up yourself from Thor? I beg your Thor pardon. Thor two. Uh, well, uh, yes. Up yourself. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, celebrating Monty Python Day today. Uh, very good. I was with Eric Idle last night, and I had the great honour of, oh. of, uh, of uh, galloping behind him with a pair of coconut shells. Oh, that's uh, all. That is a great honour. It is. It How is, is Eric? I haven't seen him in a while. Very, very well. Very, very funny. Very mm. kind and very encouraging to people who are behind him with coconut shells. Yeah, that yeah. sounds like Eric. Yeah, that yeah. was definitely him. I was testing you to see if it really was Eric Idle, and it sounds like him. It absolutely was. You know, he made me a hat once. Did he? Yeah, uh, well, it's not gay if you wear a hat. But that. Uh, <laughs> but he did. He, wore, he, made, he made me a, a, a nice chain mail hat. And how did he do that? Did he, did he knit that? I put don't it together know how he did household it. Household materials? It, and I, do you wear it much? I do. I wear it around the house. Oh, do you? Um, Whenever I get into a domestic dispute with her indoors. What I, does Lady Ferguson think of it? Well, I think she rather likes it. I wear the chain mail hat and a pair of, you know, uh, open toed espadrilles and nothing else. Oh, excellent. Okay. That must be very... You mustn't move your head very quickly. That would be dangerous. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a head part of the day. Okay, yeah. with, the, the, uh, the, with the chain mail. Yeah. Um, um, we have to... Um, commercial break. Uh, how, how fantastic. Yeah, I am... Uh, <laughs> but many of the products you're about to see will be useful in your life. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> and then when we come back, you'll still be here. Well, thank you very well, much. I hope. very kind of you. We'll be right back with... Things. I'm here with Kenneth Branagh. We're at, now listen, Thor, yes. um, Scandinavian. Um, Scandinavian. I know you seem to be very attached to the Scandinavians. You yeah. did the, you did when you did Hamlet. You did it all up, up in you know, well, Danish, Denmark. Yes, it is yes, set in Denmark. Yes, to be it fair. is. So that's good. Cool. Um, and then you didn't you play a Scandinavian detective? I was a Swedish detective. Shh, I right. noticed with interest, Craig, earlier on uh, that you uh, gave an impression of Swedish kissing, uh, which seemed to me yes. <laughs> now, uh, on, on what experience is that based? Because uh, it seems it, se it does not tally with my own experience of the Swedes in that mode. <laughs> Well, how many Swedes did you kiss? <laughs> well, I didn't kiss them. I was watching them occasionally. Right, know, right. Uh, well, they, dis they, they disguise it when uh, foreigners are in. Uh, uh, that, but I was accepted as one of them. I, uh, <laughs> I defeated their leader. <laughs> it I look forward to your letter. <laughs> it just it feels, it feels like... A, I can't really do it, but it feels like a... It feels like an ex exposed way of doing it, which in the northern climes in the winter, you do you, that, that yeah, tongue could stick somewhere oh, yeah, so very that, unfortunate. That's true, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, the days have passed with me putting my tongue in unfortunate places. Well, <laughs> Well, Especially cold in the in the cold. Did you did you make your Swedish detective show in Sweden? Yes, yeah, and we're going to do some more. And then we go to Sweden and do the part of southern Sweden called Skåne, and uh, it, it's also very close to the, the border with with Denmark. So you can go quickly to Copenhagen as well. It's very. It's a, You're living the dream, man. I'm living, yeah, living, living the dream. I mean, I'm, Sweden, Denmark, Denmark, Sweden. I mean, you can literally in the course of one day you can be in two cities, and then if you go home at the end of the day to England, you've done three. That's Sweden. Europe for you. That's, that's Europe for you. Yeah, you can, and you can do it all in a train. Road. Exactly. Yeah. Over yeah. the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, I mean, that bit's harder, in all yeah, honesty. Yeah. That it, Do, have you ever been to... You, you're in Stockholm a lot now. Uh, well, actually, we're, in, we're near, near Malmo, and uh, down that end of things. But oh. I know Stockholm well. Have you been to Cafe Opera in Stockholm? I have not. Tell oh, me about awesome. it. Is it. What, yeah. what happens there? Uh, oh, really? Uh, <laughs> now, tell me, does the position of the tongue change? Is it always like that? Or, for instance... Because it always looks as though you're kissing someone who's just behind you. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. Uh, now you're catching <laughs> oh, on, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, and then I've taken myself to a place I didn't really want to well, go. Australia, uh, 20 uh, years ago, exactly. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Uh, so, yes. So, Sweden, up. that's nice. That's lovely. You should move there. Well, uh, You could afford a house in Sweden now with your Thor movie making a trillion dollars this week. Well, it's doing very... It is It is doing very nicely, so we'll see. If yeah. It, but once Marvel have counted all their, their pennies, we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, you'll probably get, what, 40 bucks or something, was it? Yeah, that'd be nice. I'll get one of those. By the way, I like your tie. Oh, you like it? Uh, yeah, I, I, are, you, are you a Hoovian? Do you enjoy Dr. Who? Yes, very much so. And I was, what about uh, Matt Smith? You like this Matt Smith? Very good, I think. He's, I think, I think very, very good. good yeah. I think they've all been good, but I feel that about the Bonds as well. James Bonds? I like them all. I, am I the oh, only come one on, Roger Moore? Roger Moore! Oh, come on. I love Roger come Moore! I love Roger Moore! I love Roger Moore! I want to... Give me three reasons why I should not adore and admire him as much as all the other James Bonds. Now, oh, 
ton pussy. Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I see what you yes, mean. Yes, exactly. Oh, well, it's very easy to say that. Um, <laughs> I know. Who, who's your favourite, if I needed to ask? Well, of course he's my favourite. Yeah. I mean, he has to be. I mean, like the, I mean, he is the number one. I mean, he's like, shit, 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 shit. You, you know, they, um, I do quite like Roger Moore, but I just... Ah, uh, now it's coming out. Now it's coming out. I think you're frightened to say that you like Roger Moore in case some kind of inner Scottish thing makes you feel sort of uh, guilt-ridden and, you know, you might, and Sean might come on and give you a bit of a biff or something. Uh, but he's in fact... He's very throwaway and charming, not unlike yourself. Uh, well, you know, I have he has the th he has the throwaway charm of the natural light comedian. I would say. That's exactly what I was going to say about him. <laughs> I, met, I met him once at this uh, at an event honouring him, yeah. which is the only way I was allowed in, if I honoured him. <laughs> but he was, he was very nice. He's very charming, man. Oh, he's and my charming. wife was uh, there, and he was looking at her breasts. Well, there you go. And she was kind of like going, oh, you can look. You're at Sean yeah. Connery. Because if it was Roger Mercy, he'd be like, what are you looking at? But it was Roger Mercy, he's like, help yourself. <laughs> Well, I, I, I do I do like them all. I like Matt Smith, and I like and I like Doctor. Who's your Who's your favourite? If I dare ask, Doctor Who, a monster creature. Oh well, I do enjoy the Daleks, of yes. course. Uh, Did you ever have a Dalek growing up by way of a uh, Christmas treat or birthday toy gift? I think I might have had a small Dalek. Yeah, a small Dalek. Well, I Are was... we talking about the toy or the sexual slang? Uh, <laughs> Well, I, 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 I'm not you don't know about a Dalek? I, no, what is a Dalek? Oh, do, you, do, you, yeah. do, you, do you wear it or you drink it? Or no, you, do, you do it. Uh, uh, and do you do it uh, with other people or is sure. it... Sure. Is you can or you can do it alone. I'm only just doing this to Achtung. with the censors who will be like... <laughs> They'll spend half an hour going, is that real? Is that a real thing? <laughs> it is now, me at. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, the Dalek, of course, was the scary robot uh, yes. monster thing that yeah, moved yeah. around. And, yes, uh, yeah. it had an enormous, an enormous sort of pro projectile. Uh, uh, right, and the Cybermen, of course, that Cybermen, was very frightening. Very, very scary. Did, not mean, like uh, Jeff Peterson, actually, in many ways. Very much so. Yes. He's making me nervous. No. I wouldn't, he has a great weakness in that he can't go more than 12 foot from an outlet. Ah. Uh, yeah. Bulls. Yeah. <laughs> He's very disappointed, but he can take over the world as long as it's very near very an electrical close. plug. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So, you like this new one then, the uh, Matt Smith? Uh, I do. Do you know I, who was here? Um, yeah. The uh, the Karen Gillan who plays uh, Amy Pond, uh -huh. the Doctor's sexy Scottish companion. Uh, a part I wanted for myself, uh, but for which for which you would be a natural. I well, understand you weren't prepared to wear the wardrobe. Is that well, I, I have to say this girl's very attractive. Yes. I have you met this girl? I have not met this girl. Ooh, I think a big timey director like you would be interested. This girl, I think she'd be a movie star. I think. Ooh, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, it, it sounds like I should meet her, but then introduce her to you. It's, uh, that's the that's the that's what I'm I'm if getting. That's, if that's what you want to do. Ooh, that's fine. Yes, it seems. Yeah, that's if that's if that's the way forward, Ken. That's the way forward. <laughs> what do you think? What do you make of the TARDIS? What do you feel about this whole idea of a box that small, if you'll pardon the expression, into which you get, uh, and it and it and it becomes enormous once you've entered. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, you <I> slut! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'd like to say I have no experience with that. But, uh, <laughs> I really want, only wanted to know about the TARDIS. Well, well it's a, no, it's just a, it's a model TARDIS uh, given to me by the BBC. Do you still talk to them, the BBC? The BBC, yeah, no, the BBC. I got my first job at the BBC, and, and Wallander, the Swedish detective, continues to be oh, on with the BBC. Them, so no, they're they're very nice. BBC they're very man, nice. through. Well, I do. You can see inside. Look how excited. Not nearly as big as it as it pretends to be on the telly. Well, it's not turned on. I suppose not. No, no, no. Oh, it is now. You see, it's also a pencil sharpener. I yeah. think. Yeah, yes. Oh, no, there you go. Look, oh, it's on. Yeah. <laughs> that was worth a battery, wasn't it? Look at that. <laughs> well, better turn that off. CBS can't afford that kind of special effect. Look at that. Whoa, -ho, take that, Fallon. <laughs> oh, it makes a noise. Listen. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, I find that rather soothing. Oh, yeah. yes. Mouth organ or awkward pause, then? Mouth organ. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, but not for me. Yeah. Oh, what's that coming? I go. I mean, I mean, and I don't mean that, of course. No, no. <laughs> It'll be bleeped out in some get, lovely way. How do you open it, though? That's the that's the main. Well, thing. you know, you just get the organ and you take oh, it out of the box oh, there. Oh, story of my life. <laughs> Unwrap it. 
You play? No. Oh. Yeah. But that's what you do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you do that. Give me that in your hand. Cup it like a coach. You, you cup your hands yes. and then bring it to your mouth. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> of course you do, Vicar. That's actually pretty good. Thank you, bro. Sorry that. All right, knock it off. Thank you uh, very much. Hey, uh, are you Sir Kenneth Branagh? I am not Sir Kenneth. I Branagh. keep asking you when you're here, and I you know. keep not being Sir Kenneth Branagh. No, no. Well, it's yeah, it's like well, you call me Sir, and that's nice. Well, that's, it's a start. That's... Well, let yeah. me tell you this. Um, very soon you are going to be Sir Kenneth Branagh. I happen to know Her Majesty. Uh, have you put in a good word? I've sent a letter. Or left a message on her on her answer machine. Yeah. Maybe? Hello, this is the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out, bitches! Leave a message! <laughs> what are you doing here in email time? Do you have some kind of film coming out or something? Well, as it happens, yes. What? Yes. I, I'm very, very fortunate to be in a film called My Week with Marilyn, directed by <gasps> Is Simon Is that the one Curtis. where... Yeah, yeah, that's the, did you, are you in that or did you direct it? I'm in it. I did not direct it. Simon oh. Curtis directed it. It stars the beautiful and brilliant Michelle Williams. Oh, yeah. And a very handsome young lad called Eddie Redmayne. A wonderful cast of oh, British yeah. actors. No, that's Judy the guy. Dench. That's the guy. Judy Dench, isn't it? Yes, she is. Dame, Dame, Dame Judy Dench. Dame Judy Dench. There you go. Dame Judy Jones and Sir Kenneth Brand. Well, she <laughs> she left a message really early on. Right. No, yeah. she's she's been working a little longer than I you. That's so. all. It'll come. It'll come. Yes. <laughs> Do you know the, the guy who's in that movie, Eddie Redmayne? Yes, yeah, yeah. He was in Pillars of the Earth. He was indeed. I watched that. It was great. I liked him. He looks a bit like my brother-in-law. Really? <laughs> yeah, so he'll do well. Excellent. You sure it wasn't your brother-in-law in Pillars of the Earth? No? It may have been. Okay. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure. We're doing the emails. Do you have Excellent. to? All right, then. Very much like What's the name of that film again? It's called My Week with Marilyn. My Week it's with in Marilyn, theaters eh? now, if you care to see it. You're very kind. Yeah. Right. <laughs> go Thank you go and see it, everybody. There'll be tons of jokes about Socrates, Jung and Freud. <laughs> it's very Jung and Freudy tonight, isn't it? It's yes. very, yeah. I'm having a real which, problem. Are you which a... side do you fall on? Oh, I'm on very in firmly in the mystic Jungian side. Oh, are you? Yeah, okay. oh, yes. Yeah. So why, why, why is that? Particular? Well, because I don't think everything's about sex, contrary to what you might think when I'm talking. I, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> are you, you are a little more Freudian, perhaps? Uh, well, I think they both have very interesting things to say in the very superficial, glib way I understand them. Well, uh, me too. I just like throwing the names around so people think I went to college. No, it's not. Nice. <laughs> Believe me, I do. It's very exciting. It's no, really, no, yeah. No, no. Uh, but you think Freud's the sexy boy and Jung is the deep, dark, mysterious boy? Well, I think the basis of the argument that they had after their friendship for... Uh, they were friends for about six years, but basically their relationship broke down because Jung wasn't prepared to concur with Freud's theory that everything was uh, sexual. Uh, and, and also, in, in those kind of relationships, it come, becomes quite about ego, doesn't it? So oh, well, I think so, so. Yeah. yeah so yeah. there was a little bit... You put ego in there. That was Jung. Uh, no, that was Freud. It, well, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. Oh, you're very clever. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're... Sir Kenneth Branagh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, we have to do some emails. We've got yeah, to. Actually, you don't have to do anything. No, you Who can. says we have to do anything? People have emailed. Oh, right, the, 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 good, the, good, the good people of America have yeah. emailed. It's important that well, we respond. The, the people, the good people are. Yes. Uh, uh, this is from Sean in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You ever been to Milwaukee, Wisconsin? No, I'd love to. Really? It's you, very, you'd like it. it's yeah, very cold you, in the winter, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I got a place there. Yeah, he's got a place yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure. You, can, you can stay at Jeff's place in Wisconsin. Excellent. That's the... Oh, yeah, and if I may say, you may not be a sir, but you'll always be daddy to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you are. Big okay. night for you. You get hit on by the robot. Okay, yeah. excellent. I can be a daddy in Wisconsin. Okay. <laughs> leave, leave it with me. All right, and uh, Sean says, uh, hi, Craig and Jeff and Sir Kenneth. It says it in, uh, <laughs> it, it just says it. You'll have to take my word for it. 
I have a crush on my friend who spends a lot of time volunteering. Is it wrong to start volunteering with her just to get close to her and not for the cause? Oh, that's it. You ever made a movie because you fancied the actress, that kind of a thing? Oh, of course not. Of course not. Um, you have! <laughs> of course not. Are you of playing course. with your junk right no, now I'm just not. for the idea? Please. Please. Now, that... That is that is so Jungian, right no, there. That the Freudian. Assumption, that no, that was Freudian. No, no, it's such a Jungian remark to assume a Freudian intent with what was simply a placement of my hand. Yeah. Not any <laughs> any kind of fiddling going on there. No, despite. I think it was I was tapping into the collective unconscious, which was Jungian, and we were all thinking, is he playing with his junk? <laughs> this is from Courtney in Brisbane, Australia. Now you must have been down to Brisbane, Australia. I haven't been to Brisbane. I have been to Australia, but not to Brisbane. You know, I've been to Australia and not to Brisbane either. Do you know why? Why? Other Australians told me don't go. <laughs> really? Well, that's no, well, true. They're the ones in Sydney and Melbourne are like, don't go there, man. It's awful. <laughs> well, they are. I must say, Australia. I love Australia. I've got me a lot too. of Australian friends, but they are rude about their other cities. So I've heard friends in Sydney say, Brisbane's a country town, mate. Don't go up there. It's a country town. <laughs> So. Yeah, but a country town's not a bad thing, is well, it? Well, it's a city. It's a massive city. It's much more than a country town. So it's, you're it's... defending Brisbane, but you've never been there. Well, no, I'm, just, I'm, I'm defending what I think to be the Jungian dismissal Yo, that's of, that. of All right. other cities by Sydney siders. It's as simple as that, you see, because of a Freudian obsession. Because they've got an opera house, haven't they, which looks like an enormous family. Vagina! No, well, it looks like a vagina. Well... That's ah, the thing. That's yes. how they turn it around. Because yes. most cities have a giant plinth. Yes. Washington's got a giant penis yes. there. But Sydney said, no, we've got to go the other way. We'd like a vagina right there in the heart. But if... But if, but if you... <laughs> But if, if you're going to look at it, if you're going to look at it that way, and frankly, I've never looked at it that way, it's not in fact a vagina. It's, a, it's seven or eight vaginas all wrapped <laughs> over each other, isn't it? I mean, frankly, it's... Hey, hey, that's better. It's a, yeah. Yeah, it's a kind of meeting place for vaginas, it seems. Like anyway. lesbian row, but in yeah. Australia. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. You can leave this in. It's educational. <laughs> yeah. What's that coming, I go? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to get time for one more. This is right. from Joel in Orlando, Florida. You ever been down there? Uh, no, I haven't. Of no, well, let me tell you, they got the uh, they got the Harry Potter thing down there, and you were Gilderoy Lockhart. Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you bastard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's a good uh, film series, that Harry Potter it's thing. Fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic, it's fantastic, I think, yeah. Do you read the books? Uh, yes, indeed, yeah. indeed. And I had a great time doing it, and it was. Uh, it's also been lovely to see these, you know, delightful kids who are they very They all turned small. out pretty good, didn't they? They turned out fantastic. Well, Do you know what? I don't know what's going on. They must have... Because usually when the kids are big stars, they turn into complete douches later on, but these kids seem fine. Well, I tell you, one thing that happened was that they were in their own sort of school. The the, the studios where uh, the, the movies were filmed became this vast campus where, frankly, they were... Kids were there, yeah, yeah and, and they were kind of, uh, I think they were very mutually supportive of each other. A lot of people knew what the others were going through. So, in fact, they were, they were at Hogwarts on screen, but they were at the Harry Potter school they were kind in of, life. And kind of was... like Hogwarts, but in... Oh, that's yeah. lovely. So they had a bit of love. <laughs> it was very nice. It's very nice. Up. They looked after each other, and they still do, and it's nice. It's very yeah, it's, you see, the good, good thing on. is that it's another generation of people in show business who are lovely. I think so, but I can say <laughs> I can say they're especially lovely. They're good kids. Yeah, no, they seem very in, nice. Grown yeah, up into yeah, good, no, nice that, young people. The ginger one was here. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, and I was I worried. Mean, I was worried because I thought, oh, it's the ginger one. We've got the ginger one, and he was lovely. Rupert. Very nice. Very nice lad. Very funny lad, isn't he? He's very funny. funny. Very you know, good, wry sense of humour. Do you know what he did when he got all his money? I said, what did you do with all that money? He said, I bought an ice cream van. Oh. And he did. He got an ice cream van and he goes around oh, and he, uh, you know, fantastic. gives out free ice cream to the poor. What, did, what was the when you got... <laughs> when you got all your money and made, say, your first three, four, five, ten million, <laughs> what did... What, what did you buy if it wasn't an ice cream van? If you didn't actually do that, what, what did you buy? What was the first First thing I really ever bought? Luxury item. First luxury item I ever bought, or will buy. Yeah. <laughs> Why, Ken, I got my very own gay robot. Your own gay robot? <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> well, we're, out, we're out of time. Uh, listen, uh, I, I know you just did the emails, but do you want to go for the big cash prize quickly? It's 50 bucks. Okay. All right, then. What time is it, Shadow Stevens? Time for the big cash prize! All right. 50 American dollars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just, I'm just testing. No, no, it's all there. Okay. Two ways to win. You can either answer one simple question or you can guess what's in my box. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to do? 
I understand that dilemma. I'm going to answer the question. All right, it's a very simple question. <laughs> that you, well, you keep changing it. Well, it's not. There, You're some making them, them some difficult. Of, no, some of them are not simple enough. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. This is a good one. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. That's correct. Yes, I know. That's just leading up. <laughs> that's not. The, that's I thought just, that was the answer. No, no, no. It's just. But it's, I've already answered it. No, no. You haven't. You've just concurred. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, then you were just speculating. No, it wasn't, a, it wasn't it, a question at all, then, was it? It was a kind of, it was a it kind was of little scene, conversational was, scurry it, around you know, a piece you know of information. Was, no, no, no. It was, uh, you're a film director, right? Yes. Like, you start the film, it's a blank screen. Music. <laughs> like that. Setting the scene. I was setting... I got that. Say you can. <laughs> OK. All right. All right. Picture the scene. You're Pic in the North Atlantic, Iceland, Reykjavik. Right, right, exactly. Now, true or false? If oh. a female ferret goes into heat and does not have sex, she will die. <laughs> True. Absolutely correct. Fifty dollars. <laughs> Why? That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. Please welcome Kenneth Brown, everybody. Thank you very much. You Thank look you. awesome. Thank you Your very much. Your hair looks totally. It's Thank almost you. as if you're prepared to accept the Oscar already. Oh, shush and shush. Well, you're quite... What do you... Uh, do, yes. you do you do your hair yourself? No, no, no I don't. Do does you? Does somebody run their hands through your hair We've got a you? machine here. Have they? Actually, yeah, is no, it a machine, really? Not really, no. Not but really. what it is, is like, it looks like a big mixer. Right, okay. And, and sometimes... What do you mix in it? it? Well, you don't. You just put it on your head. It's like a, like wires, and it okay. goes on your head, and it makes you go... Oh. Can I touch your hair? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, that's lovely, because it has bulk and substance, and yet is smooth to the touch. <laughs> and so, I think... You could be describing <laughs> my penis. <laughs> but I think... Now, by contrast, that's something I wouldn't like to touch. Um, thank you. Thank Are you, you sure? No, I'm absolutely... Yeah. Sure. I'm absolutely sure. Also, can I ask you a question? How do you feign diarrhoea? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, well, you'd probably know, being the actor that you are, but I'll give you a lesson. Here's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I'm getting... Actually, good. And I'm glad it's... Uh, you don't have to do anything else beyond that. I'm sorry I didn't feign it. We have to go to a commercial. Oh, uh, yeah. And he's right. No, um, come on. Um, and you're, well, congratulations on getting the Oscar nomination. Thank That's you fantastic. Very much. Well, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. No. Thank you. Do you know what? Yesterday, yesterday we went to the, the nominees luncheon, which is the, 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 the moment where it's like a sort of a high school graduation where everybody gets their certificate. It sounds oh. sort of odd with the Oscars, but you, you, you stand in, a, everybody lines up, and so mm. there's Mr. Spielberg and Mr. Scorsese and all these people, 140 people, right. all on these bleachers, and then you get called up and you get your certificate. And I, I was standing there with a sort of inane grin on my, my, my face because it was so thrilling. And so were all of they. Everybody is so excited. You think it's so grand, but actually that bit of it is no, so... I am that would be great. Fun. It was no, brilliant. Was, that's it's the Oscars. Uh-oh. Golden Globe is the Oscars. <laughs> the Oscars. It well, it's means very nice. something. It means <laughs> something. It was, well, it meant something to all of us. Well, it, it so does. Nice. It's the Oscar. So it's important. It's very and nice. Did, didn't you get the Oscar nom for uh, Henry V? I did, yes, indeed. And yes, yes. Wasn't that your first film? It was indeed, yes. And because yes. I saw it, it was very good. Thank you very and much. And wasn't you, that Lawrence Olivier? Didn't he do that early on in his career? Yes, he did. And so, whatever it was, 50 years later, we. we That's we weird, though, isn't it? It's like all. In it isn't weird to end up playing him, you know, because yeah. it was something I didn't expect to do. And, and uh, But it was, it was great to go back and look at all his work and then have a chance to do this little weird moment in his life where he directed Marilyn Monroe, at that time the biggest movie star in the world. Yeah. He was the greatest actor in the world. And it should have been a fantastic collaboration. They just didn't get on. She was late all the time. She once kept him waiting for three days. I don't know if you've ever had the problem with a guest, where they don't show up for three days. I've but had that problem with an actress, but I've never <laughs> had it with a guest. Have you? Oh, now listen, but tell me, have you now, what have you, when you've worked with people that you find difficult in, in yeah. film or television, what, what do you do? Do you try and be nice to them? Do you lose your rag? Do you, how, no, I'm them? nice to them. I, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. nice to them, and then when they leave, I say to him, uh, let's never have them back. Oh, okay, I got you. And he goes, oh, we got her, they're big, and I'm like, no, 
it doesn't matter. Oh, you know, no, no. Yeah, yeah. That's why you've been here so often. You can say what you like about you, Ken, but you're punctual. Oh. Every, <laughs> every time I've introduced you, you scoot out there oh. like the groundhog on Groundhog well, Day. It's thank awesome. You. Thank you very much. Thank it's you very much. It's very, we, we aim to please. It's a great skill. And I think popularity and punctuality in Hollywood go halfway to getting you the Oscar. I mean, you've got to act and stuff as well, but being on time... <laughs> Are you, are you a punctual person yourself? Yeah, I hate people who are not punctual. In fact, I think it's passive-aggressive to be late. Oh, really? Yes, I do. If you're not 15 minutes early, you're late. That's what I say. Oh, OK. Well, that, I tell you, you've rather scared me in the way you said that, really? and, and yet also excited me at the same time. <laughs> um, and I'm not quite sure which is winning out in terms of the... the so in the film, then, you play... Uh, <laughs> You play Sir Lawrence Little. Did you ever meet him? I never, I never met him, but I wrote to him once um, and asked him for advice about a part that I was playing. I found his address in a book called Who's Who of the Theatre. In those days, you'd have an entry saying what you'd done, and he had pages and pages of it. And then at the end, he gave us his hobbies and clubs that he was belonged to. And then he gave his address. It was his London town address. Really? Um, yeah, absolutely. You could just get this to the library. So I did write to him, and he did write back. This it was like writing to one of the gods, and he wrote back. It was a simple piece of advice. He just said, have a bash and hope for the best. He said, I've got no advice advice to offer you other than yeah, seriously have well, a bash and hope for the best just do it because years later i remember i was directing a film years ago mm -hmm. and it's before i got this show and i got in touch with you yes to ask about directing and you said yes let's have lunch and we had lunch and you didn't know me at all and we had lunch and you and you said to me i remember what you said about casting you said cast your friends because actors are a pain in the ass did i really yeah. oh, god. <laughs> god forgive me god forgive and me and i did and the did film you? was terrible oh. god. So uh, I remember that. that. I remember no, Shepherd's no. Bush. It was yeah, a little, little lunch, restaurant. Very nice. It's very nice. And you work with the same production designer that I used. Yes, Tim, I did. Tim, Tim you... Harvey. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. still work with him? Yes, I do. Yeah, yes, he's I do. Very talented. Very, very tall and thin. Very tall and thin. Yes, and could could play a Nazi general in a Second World War film. Oh, but he's yes. also very good at designing movies. He's be probably best designing films than yeah, playing the Nazi general. More you so, I think. Yeah, you don't, I think, yes, you don't yes. often get the Oscar for playing the Nazi general. Not so much. Not so much. I'm sorry, I did a child labour joke earlier on, and they've it never... Didn't go down uh, well. they, haven't, they haven't been back since. No, they, <laughs> they, they consider me a Nazi general. In really? Fact. <laughs> but with wonderful hair. Thank you. Yeah. You've got very nice hair. Now, what's going on? Why? It's gone a little bit saucy. It's, it's, it's got, there's some clay in it. There's what? Some, some moulding clay. Nice. I'm, I'm told, I'm told. And it's Do you the, sculpt any other areas? Uh, well... <laughs> I don't know. We, well, do you know, of course, that depends on the touch, whether you've got the hands for the sculpting in other areas. Yeah, uh, I see your, where you're going. Of your, we your have to being. take a commercial break. Uh, are you interested in those? Uh, very much so. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, how, how exciting. Yes, it is. Take a look at this. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. Kenneth Branagh, who's all nominated for the audience. Anyway, we're out of time, Kenneth. Um, oh, there you go. <laughs> well, no, okay. I, I always say that at the beginning of the second bit because, you know, it usually takes about four or five minutes to wind it up. Okay, all right. Okay, well, I'm, I'm with you, and I'm ready to cooperate and, in a way, just be your assistant. If I can help you to help me to help you, I think it'll all be lovely. <laughs> and if I knew what I was and saying, I'd And the Oscar goes that. to... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, God, I don't know, I don't have much sway with the Academy, buddy, but you won yourself four chocolate this is quarters right extremely, here. extremely, extremely kind of you. Right, thank okay, you. now. Thank you very much. This what would you like to uh, end up? Would you like the uh, awkward pause, a uh, mouth organ, or big cash prize? Big cash prize, oh, please. What time is it? Here's how you win the big cash prize, which is 50 American dollars in real quarters yeah. in a bag with a dollar sign on it. Now, do you, and it looks wonderful, but do you mind me asking, the last time I came here, and I did play for the, the big cash prize, yeah. there were notes, there were cash and a folding money. Why has it now become uh, perfectly good legal tender, but why is it in coin form now? Well, here's great. what I think. I think yes. because CBS feel that if I give it to the celebrities in coin form, they're more likely to return <laughs> it. <laughs> That's a very good point. Yeah, Maybe where I should pay everybody like that. Well, everybody was just taking the bucks and going, $50, that's awesome, thanks very much. Yeah, yeah, that's a heavy bag. Get your hand underneath that. Look, feel that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's kind of, it's sort of, it's a little knobbly, isn't it? Yeah, but it that's is. Yeah. Uh, but, but it's... Uh, it, but it makes a noise and it's rather musical, so that's... And so is the bag. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> All right.
right, there's two ways to win. Uh, as you know, you can either answer the question or you can guess what's in my box. Now, okay. guess what's in my box? A little bit tricky. I can imagine what's in the box. I don't know what's in the box. Jeff knows what's in the box. You ask, and then he... It's... That's how it's now. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Good. So what do you want to do? I, 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 I want to guess what's in the box. Wow! All right, then. <laughs> All right, what happens is, okay. I imagine a box, yeah. and then I don't know what's in the box. Of Only course Jeff, you don't. Right, Jeff, you don't. Jeff knows what's in the box. Yeah, okay. And then you guess, and if you get it right, Jeff will tell you. Oh. Yeah, you, how do you two... Uh, how do we work together? Yeah. Not very well. But, <laughs> but we, we will, I think, be able to guess what's in the box. But uh, I need to concentrate very hard, yes? All right, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm imagining a box. Yes. <clears throat> if this helps you at all, it's yeah. large. It's large. Is it enormous? Would you call it enormous? I'd call it very, very big. It's, a, it's about the size of Arizona. <laughs> Slightly smaller than Arizona. Slightly more smaller than is it is it is it is it cavernous and echoey? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, a cavernous <laughs> and echoey box. What is in <laughs> my box? A toothbrush. <laughs> Jeff, what's in the box? Well, caress my skull and call me Yorick. It's a toothbrush. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please welcome the very lovely Sir Kenneth Branagh, everybody. Sir Kenneth. Thank it's you. got a it, it's Thank got you. a lovely ring to it. I have to say, congratulations! Thank I know you've you just much. recently been knighted. You are I now have. really Sir Ken. Yes, I am. Yeah, Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. Exciting. It's fantastic. Have you got? Did they did they give you a hat or a sword or something? Uh, no. <laughs> Obviously, there's a requirement to wear a suit of armour at home at all times. Oh, oh yes, uh, I think. Uh, we've we've had to rearrange furniture. There's a lot of round tables in the house. Oh, oh nice. Obviously. I can do that. My wife loves it. She is now uh, Lady She's a Branner. Lady, She's yeah. Lady Branner. Unfortunately, that means she's got to wear the long pointed hat, you know, and the little bit of thing at the end. She now lives in a tower in the garden, unfortunately. So, so that's a little tricky. You bring her coffee in the morning, but you've got to climb up on her you hair. Do, you, don't, you don't have to bring her coffee. You are Sir Kenneth Branagh. Yeah, you Members my of wife. the lower <laughs> orders will now bring her coffee. You can have no. serfs come in. Uh, well, we, we could, but we have that little ritual, which used to mean me, you know, I'd go out, we'd, I'd take the dog out and... Uh, and find the a body. They find a body, <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Inspired by Jeff, as you know, sir. Yeah. And thank you very much for that, you know, because that whole that early part of that first Wallander, September 9th, PBS. Oh, yeah, uh, it's uh, right around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, was inspired by this show, of course. Oh, yes, of um, course. Uh, thank you. But, well, no, you're welcome. Um, but uh, we, no, we had that, that ritual, and now, unfortunately, it does involve getting to a tower in the garden, climbing up her hair and giving it to her that way. But it's the price to pay for... For, uh, for a, serdom. For, for serving, but You yes. see, I, I think it's a lovely thing. I think you've deserved it for some time. I think you've always been a great ambassador for British theatre and very entertainment. Well done, you. You I are say. very yeah. kind, thank you. You're, lo you're looking particularly sharp tonight, I think. No, it's... Sure. Uh, it's, it's Got oh, a nice suit, nice three-piece suit. Now, is this a? Do you favour what we'd call a waistcoat? You might call a vest. Vest, a waistcoat. Vest, yeah. Do you uh, do you like that as a style? Are you, are you developing a new and exciting? Well, this is what I'm going for because I think it's like man spanks. <laughs> You know, it, it gathers it all yes, and it yes. pulls it in. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's there's kind of like... There's nothing to pull in there. Oh, yeah. No, au contraire, if you don't oh, mind me using it. Uh, yeah. Hey, watch your language, yeah, please, pal. Yeah. Easy. Au contraire. I know that the <laughs> sirs don't like the French, but au contraire. Oh, Sir right. Ken. Well, okay. Do, do people call you Sir Ken now? Uh, well, no, no, really. And I don't really particularly encourage it because it's, it's, uh, it's lovely. I mean, I can't tell you how exciting it's, it, it was. really is a great honour. I mean, it's a fabulous It's a thing. funny old thing in our country, but it's... A, it's, it's and you're... The, 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 Birthday honours, uh, thousands and thousands of people who do much more valuable and interesting things than I do are also honoured in various ways. And, you know, although it, it comes out of a royal system, in fact, you can write in. You know, people can write in and say, Craig, can you apply? You can apply. I'm doing it. Yes, exactly. I'm I think doing it's it. a heartbeat away. You just get a little, <laughs> get an online campaign going and everything. Because you know. I do have uh, Her Majesty the Queen plate. Oh, how brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, we we it was uh, we were using it for a bit where we imagined that Her Majesty the Queen had been falsely imprisoned. Well, 
<laughs> Which, of course, would be a terrifying thing. Yeah. I mean, I think she's going to love the fact that you keep that. I mean, you might want to think about presenting it in a slightly different way if you want. If, <laughs> I, they, and I, I mean, I don't want to listen, I don't want to tell you your own business. But no, but it's, uh, uh, perhaps, but, uh, perhaps I, I should, maybe I, I'd get my neighborhood for springing her from the pokey. Well, yeah. well I'm sure, I'm sure she appreciates She's it. free! She's free! Yeah! She's free. I think, right. I think you're already further up the list right now. Yeah, that's it, I can feel the knighthood on its I, way. I think, yeah. I think, I'll use it as a source. No, right, it's just a question. But, but it's so, but it's... It's on her face. What, what if oh, you... It's all right. We're what, in what America. You... It's fine. <laughs> I don't know. You, they can't a... strip you of your knighthood I'm... for this, you know. It's I'm... a plate. Yeah. It's a plate. A minute ago, you were looking so good. Now I think you're in prison. Um, no. Uh, I think I actually works rather well. Okay. No, I, actually, on reflection, I think you're right. Yeah, no, it's all right. Uh, you seem well. You seem at yourself, at ease. Uh, yeah, well, very happy to be here. Always love to come on your show. Well, and thanks very so much. Are you a little drunk or something? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not. I, um, but uh, no, I'm happy. I'm thrilled with the, the, the show. I'm excited about the Olympics. We have the Olympics. Yes, no. I, I mean, everyone's saying that London's going to be a terrible mess during the Olympics. The, the, the streets are too narrow and built for rickety carts. Well, uh, um, it might be. We now have, I don't know if you, you, you know, these Olympic lanes where there's a dedicated lane. It has the symbols in and only Olympic traffic can go through Yes, there, but, but aren't the taxi drivers very cross about that? Uh, there's a little bit of uh, how's your father about that. But, but, um, <laughs> um, uh, but it's exciting. It's exciting, you know. We're excited. Lots of lots of visitors, and you know, the Olympic Park is absolutely amazing. See, I have a, now this is. I mean, no uh, disrespect at all to London, yep. but I always think in any the big cities that have the Olympics, London, uh, you know, Los Angeles had the Olympics, sure. Seoul, Atlanta, Korea, had well. Atlanta had them. Why don't they give this uh, the Olympics to cities that that need a bit of business? I mean, these are all cities that get a lot of business. What about the Olympics in you know, like Reno or something like that? <laughs> Yeah. Reno could use a shot in the arm. Give Reno the Olympics. Or Winnipeg, Canada. The Olympics. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, no, I, 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 think, I think you have it. I mean, it costs a little, and that's because there's a bit of a drama about that, that it costs a little more than anybody ever Are you going to be part of the... I tell you what I am going to do. I was thrilled to do it. Uh, you can get tickets online. People have been very frustrated that they couldn't, they couldn't get them. But I managed. Uh, the morning that the tickets for the opening ceremony went online, I waited all morning, and I got my little account sorted out, and I pressed the button right, right at the moment as they were about to... So be you are very good at computing. Uh, it, well, I had to be, I had to be there all morning, and I, I pressed send very, very expertly. That's, uh, that's very impressive. So, if, for example, if you wanted to watch pornography, you wouldn't go to a movie theater to watch it. You? No, no. you would have a device at home. I've got a dedicated device. For Yay! You. It's just the yeah. easier, it's just simpler, it's just, you know, and then you've got the various channels. But it's, it's, that's a separate you know, thing. It's a different thing. I know separate you're not allowed to do that now you're Sir Kenneth. Uh, no, not so much. Not yeah, yeah. So much. <laughs> but, but do you get a designated amount of me time? Uh, yeah, and I left it in your dressing room as you, as you asked me for. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so take a commercial break. We'll be right back with uh, Kenneth Brown. Like if you're going to take it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Kenneth Brown. I'm finding out the ins and outs of how to get a knighthood. Yeah. <laughs> You've done great work with the plate. Yeah, I think, I think it all went a bit south when I became an American. I think right there. Uh, I'm like, well, that's it. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, tell me about this thing where you find the skeleton in the garden, then. The well, uh, Wallander is a, is a detective in a small town in, in, in Sweden who, uh, back home, where, where, uh, uh, he's very popular, and across Europe, these books, of these novels of this character are very popular, mm. but he does carry the, the stigma of being a bit depressed. People suggest that the Swedes, Scandinavians, people in the northern climes are a little bit affected by well, the weather, they seasonal disorders. That's seasonal true, yeah, the, the, I get that. Uh, yeah. Whenever I, it's dark, I'm sad. Yeah, well, there you go, you put your finger on it, and he, but he, at the beginning of this new series of Wallander, has the opportunity to have a happy life, he's met a new woman, he's got a dog, uh, he has a new house by the sea, everything's good. That's everything's great, great. That sounds fantastic. First night, terrific, you know, we're all, all set for a lovely life together, and lots of interesting It's the first night of your lovely new life? It is, and of course, with this particular character, of course, this is what he finds, he finds Jeff in the garden. That's very... And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, not that that isn't a thrilling experience in its own way, well, but, yeah. but, it, but it leads to... It 
it leads to a certain amount of unhappiness. It does lead to a great thriller. They are great page turners. Yeah, no, thrillers. they're very, very good. Um, yeah. and, and people like the idea, maybe vicariously, that somebody else is having a tough time. And, um, well, well, that's the, the, this narrative, though, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you get your hero and you throw rocks at him. That's what you do. The, the, Something like that. And maybe just there, but for the grace of God, go I. And right. you know, people get it out of their system. The writer, Henning Mankell, said that, that he'd written three or four books, and people said, oh, so this guy has such a tough time. You know, what are you going to do with him? And he decided to give the character diabetes, and the book sales went up. Uh, people loved it. They, they, they loved additional no, that's burdens. Because, no, that's because people love Wilfred Brimley. Is that what it is? Yeah. Right, Jeff? Diabetes. Yeah, you see. <laughs> now, uh... I don't know. See, if I was someone having a lovely, the first day of my lovely new life, I'd yes. be very careful. It's like being a cop in the last day before you retire. You know, in a movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like, oh, this is my final day before I retire. What would you do on your, if it was, there'll never be a final day for you here. Oh, but, yes, there will. But, it could be tonight. <laughs> well, if there was, what would you make sure that you did? People say to me on a film set, remember, on your last day, behave the best. That's what people remember. Doesn't matter if you were a saint, the rest of the shoot, on your last day, you have to be, if you were nice, stay nice. But if you were nice and you're suddenly grumpy on the last day, that's what people remember remember you being great. What would you do on your last day on this show that, that, that you wanted to make sure people I would, could remember I would you like to approach the show in a sort of a, a more relaxed attitude. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, yeah, you might be, be able to do that. <laughs> I think, I think that, but if that weren't possible, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like, to, I'd like to, uh, I'd maybe wear less. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I, I think people want you to wear less. That's that's the impression I have as I go about. Are we great... talking about Her Majesty the Queen? <laughs> it's... Is that why you've been sent here as an envoy of Her Majesty the Listen, Queen? It was a brief voicemail message. She <laughs> said, I know you're going to see him. I know you're um, going to see him. Yeah, I, I, I know he's taken to wearing the three-piece suits. Uh, tell him I want to see less of him. Oh, uh, yeah. In the best possible way. Yeah, well, that's, that's rather nice. Am I right? Have you just turned 50? Is that right? Yeah, uh, have yeah, you? yeah, yeah. And, and how? Did you, you're, you're I'm 51. Fi I'm 50. Did you get the camera? Uh, the ca no? Oh, you gotta get the... It's kind of like getting a knighthood in America, you get a camera in your bottom. <laughs> oh, oh, what do you mean? When you turn, have I, come to the, have I come to the right place? What does he mean? What well, do you mean? Well, the, 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 it's going to happen to me before no, I leave. No, right? no, 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 not one of these cameras. <laughs> okay. No, no, it's a, it's a health thing, a colonoscopy. You got to get them when you're 50. And this, what you get this for free here? You get it, or you? Or... <laughs> you do now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, um, you, uh, you got to. It's a health thing. They recommend it when you turn 50. You've got to have a colonoscopy. Like what? On your 50th birthday? Or? Yes. Yeah. Before yeah. breakfast. Be before before breakfast. Well, that's more for the doctor and, than it is for and, you, but and, uh, yeah. Yeah, and you may have been through this, if you'll pardon the expression, but how, 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 how long... much fun is it? It's awesome. <laughs> uh, and how, but how, how, how long does the movie, does the movie run for, as it were? Well, uh, uh, I, I, let's say I nodded off during yeah, the, but, yeah. but what they do, the most fascinating thing about it, I've talked about it in the show before, but I find this fascinating. Oh, it makes me go like that right well, now. Yeah, no, I would do, yeah. Oh, but the thing is about it, it's very important, you must get it done, it's okay. important. But it's, it's screening, but it's, um, it's, uh... So when, people can come, it's like a screening? Yeah, it's like a screening, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I can, it's like, I can, oh, yeah, very I can nice. get friends. And you can, you can yeah. have it done at Sundance, for oh, okay, example, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because that would be easier for oh, me. Yeah, because you, you're in the film business, yeah, exactly, so I'd be like, exactly. and now it's a kind of colonoscopy, everybody. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, uh, oh, okay. are we out of time? No. Oh, we'll be fine. Yeah. Anyway, so what they do is um, they put a, ca a little camera out there, but they they puff they puff it up so that there's air gets in, so they can have a look around. Oh, nice! But nice. it's amazing. So when you leave, you feel very. I bet you do. Right, but yeah. <laughs> and you start to pass gas, but but ah. but but because there's been nothing in there and they've been putting medical gas in, it smells nice. Oh, okay. Oh. It's like it's like it's like you, it's like your ass had a mint. Yeah. <laughs> But, 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 I, but I, <laughs> now that is a nice idea. Yeah. But, I mean, I could use aftershave for that and avoid the whole thing up. Uh, no, no, you yeah. gotta do it. It's, it's, uh, you gotta have the health thing done. We're gonna have it uh, sent to you. Okay, well, I tell you what, so would you come to my screening? Yes, absolutely. Thank you.
what a... What a... Very, very, very nice welcome. Thank they're you very, very They're a very, very special much. audience today. So. They I came in so. their own bus, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. You you felt as though you got off on the wrong foot to begin with. But to begin with. It seems like you're very close yeah. to that's maybe. what I'm reading. That's yes, what I'm it, well, you know audiences. Well, I try to. Well, yes, it's, it's your game. You're a director, you're an actor. Did you cast yourself in this film? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I wanted an actor. I needed to know he was available. Mm. Um, and, uh, I, I would have been available <laughs> again. I know. Do you know, I did think of you because I, yes. get, uh, I get to play a Russian in this, uh, in this film, Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. It's the latest in the, the series of Jack Ryan films, the first one of which, Hunt for Red October, uh, Sean featured, Connery. featured the yeah. great conjunction of Russian and Scottish. I yeah. bet you must be able to do Oh, yes, yeah. I mean, because when Sean Connery plays a Russian submarine commander, he threw it himself wholeheartedly into the Russian it, accent. It, it, was, he was, <laughs> he, he, it was like, yes, that's right, I'm as Russian as can be. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, it's, it's a tricky accent, the Russian, though. It I is. mean, if you're not careful, you end up doing Dracula. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you don't want to be doing that. You don't want to be doing Dracula. Not you not you, so, well, <laughs> now, I understand you are the king of the accents, though. This no, is, no, this I'm is, not the king of the accents. No, I've, I've, I've heard as much, and also I'm very, and forgive me if you've done this a thousand times, but I would like to hear live your Austrian therapist um, uh, oh. accent. Because, you know, I went to... Is that, is that, I, I actually... I went, as a birthday treat a couple of years ago, I went to Vienna and the first thing I did, I went to Freud's house and I was very interested. Are you in therapy? Uh, no, 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 I just, I, I was just in Freud's house. But Perhaps I, you're in therapy now? Well, uh, what do you, I mean, you look at me and I know that you respond intuitively and I'm grateful for that. What, what, do, you, what do you think is my problem uh, right, right, right now? Latent homosexuality. Yes, okay. <laughs> now, um, I, what, what, do you think I, what do you think I could or should do about that? What would you recommend? Find a nice boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, no, I have to say, if I'm going to do my Viennese accent, I, I have to tell you, it's very much like a creepy Nazi from old yeah. films. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because that's all I can do. So I talk like this, really. Okay, okay. no, I, I like that. So, so for you, the water's over, Tommy. <laughs> Um, what do you, maybe it's, it's good, I think, sometimes when, when it's turned back on the therapist. And so I want to ask you, what are, you what, what, is, what, are, what are your secret desires? What, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think of it when you wake up in the middle of the night? <laughs> so how's the film, anyway? <laughs> uh, you, did you shoot it in Russia? <laughs> you make the film in Russia, did you? Uh, we did. We did go to Russia. You, Moscow? We went to Moscow, which uh, I, you've, you've been, yeah, you've, oh, I yeah. know you've been, and you've been to St. Petersburg. Did yeah. you find, was it true in Russia, when we were there, they, they have a lane in the middle of these very wide uh, highway streets, uh, a single lane, but for people who have paid a lot of money for a special number plate, means they can drive very yes. quickly, they're sort of exempt from uh, police uh, attention, and they go at vast speeds, uh, but it's a one-lane street, and they go two ways, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're always like a heartbeat away from it. You know, yeah, it's, it's a very frightening and, and kind of exhilarating place, I thought. Yeah. I, I loved Moscow. I yeah. thought it was really, uh, really kind of odd. Did you go to the park of totalitarian art? I, I, no, I did not. Oh, it's fantastic. They've got all these old uh, communist statues. Oh, yes. Right, but they, they got them all together and put them in a park. So, and they're all kind of like angry at the communists. So they, they, the, the Soviets, so they, they've got them all pushed over. So like Lenin's going like that. Really? Quiet, <laughs> and Stalin's like got his leg in the air. And all that. <laughs> it's, it's very interesting, though. It's really I, I, quite a place. And St. Petersburg, you must go to. Yeah, no, this is the, the, the Venice of the North, isn't it? They right, right, yeah. It's a very, very nice. You, you think that when you go to St. Petersburg, you think somebody here said we have to make the whole town look more wedding cakey <laughs> more wedding cake all over here so uh, how long were you in Russia uh, we were there very briefly we did the the, the movie is goes at a very frenetic pace with Jack Ryan Chris Pine plays him and he is uh, immediately fish out of he's water. good isn't he? he's very he's good very good very sexy yeah. lad very handsome boy very smart and he's a wonderful he's a wonderful hero because he's got he's, he's quick-witted and he's warm and this Jack Ryan character this every man in difficult yeah. situations we have we, Chris we went to Moscow with and we hit the ground running we went to new york we went back to london it was and the the pace of the movie has this kind of freneticism that is to do with putting the audience in the situation jack's in so it's quite a even now when i watch it i get quite sort of sweaty palm do you get involved in thrillers and did you like that kind of thing well like yeah suspense? yes uh, i i i do but not as a director obviously but uh but uh, yeah i i watch them yeah yeah 
And you like, <laughs> but yet yeah, good. I'm glad to hear it. But you, no, you I'll see this. I'll see this one. I'm looking forward good. to it. Actually, but yeah. you don't get. I find. I mean, I, I, it sounds mad saying it about your own film, but when I watch it now, I still get tense. I still want to run. Well, that see, that seems to me that, to be absurd. You must have seen it like 500 times I by have. now. I, I suppose so. You know how it turns out. Yeah, surely? I, do, I do know who did it in the end. Yeah, I don't know who did it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you're, ca when you're working with actors like uh, Chris Pine, and you've got some very clever actors in the film, uh, and then you're in the film, you're directing it, but you're wearing your, you know, your hair and your eyebrows and your cape or whatever the... Moustache, moustache and the glasses and everything. Moustache, you know, yeah. the whatever. The hump, yeah. yeah. I, the parrot in the is it, film. Is it, hard to, is it hard to give them the direction where you're like, everyone, walk over here and do this? <laughs> That, you've given me a very good idea for how I should direct from now on, which is not... As, as no, Dracula. you must all do, go here and do what I say. This yeah. is all you want. Everybody walk yeah. over here. This yeah. is Italian Dracula we're doing oh, now, yeah. yeah. It's a well. I don't know. My He's... Dracula, my Dracula was coming a little bit from, I don't know, come from here, maybe from the little south valley. Ultimately, he don't really speak English. Well, <laughs> I, I think your character sounds a little bit like Upper West Side of Manhattan. Okay. He's not really well, like... No, what works in a fashion I, store, I, doesn't really have an accent from I, anywhere. I don't know. I, I think uh, possibly both these guys, both these guys, uh, my guy has no consonants. No consonants, only got vowels. Oh, only yeah. got vowels. He got vowels and he, you do that, he does this. Uh, both were very, very difficult. And now he moved, now he moved somewhere to the, now he moved somewhere to, to the east. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's, there it is. It's, it's globe trotting. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the fun, though, isn't it? Going around the world shooting movies. I mean, it must be more fun doing that than shooting them in a big sound stage in Burbank or something, oh, isn't it? I, well, you know, both are exciting. Sometimes you get to make magic and create sets and things that uh, you, you know are you know sort of childhood uh, fantasies. But it's lovely to go to the real. I way. I saw an old movie of yours. Uh, gosh. Um, on cable a couple of nights ago. I mean, re it's really going back. A movie called Peter's Friends. Oh, yes. Remember that yes, movie? Yeah, I do. Now, where, when was that? That must be like 19, 20 years. 1992. You were a child I in that a film. Child. We all look so young. And, and now you couldn't afford that cast because uh, uh, we have uh, my ex missus, Emma Thompson. You're right, uh, yes. Uh, uh, and uh, Hugh Laurie. Yeah, uh, yes, who, who became House. House. Yes, yes and Stephen was Fry. The piano, Stephen Fry. Stephen, who's on Broadway now. Did yeah, you know that? Yeah. yeah, he's, yeah. Uh, he's doing Shakespeare on Broadway. He is, uh, yeah. So you're also grown up, and I'm doing a tutti fruits crappy talk show. Oh, on stop CBS. it! Stop it! You're you're ubiquitous. You talk to the nation. You're the voice and conscience and intellectual soul of the nation. That's how I see you. Yeah, absolutely right. We're right, Michael Kennedy. Right, 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 right. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Sir Kenneth Branagh. Have you used the Sir month? Did you get it put on your credit cards and stuff? Uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, no, get it put on, yeah. Sir Kenneth Branagh. That's, well, maybe that's the thing to do. No, I, I think it's yes. great. I wish they had something like that in America, but they only have cash. But, but that's good. That's good. That, that's the reward system yes. here. You yeah, just get cash. Good. But the presidents get their face on it, though, don't they? Which the face nice. on it. Yeah, but you yeah. don't get to be the president. I mean, are you the president of Britain? No, I mean, not really. I mean, I mean, I, that, no. People aren't seeing it that way. No, it's it's true to say. Um, um, yeah, especially my wife. I'm not even. I'm not even the president of my house. No. Um, for that, no does that's your wife certain. become Lady Branagh then? Uh, she does actually, yeah. That's pretty sexy. Well, that's the. Uh, I, I, so you get to go to bed with Lady Branagh. I, I do, and uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, but I'm in a suit of armour a lot of the time. Yeah. You know, <laughs> The, uh, the, uh, and I have to, I've got that, that jousting pole. Uh, hey now, hey, thank hey, you. hey, thank you. That, hey, that hey. nice hey, hey, news hey. that on. it's, I, so, so, so it's a jousting pole. Do you have recurring dreams perhaps? I just, um, it's just, the, I just, I, it's just, it's so enormous. Um, <laughs> it's, it's very heavy and I don't know what to do. I find that it clanks a lot. Um, <laughs> Can he say this? Yeah. He can say yeah. Oh, yeah. He can say it because he's Sir <laughs> Kenneth Branagh. If I say it, I get... Ooh la la! Beat! <laughs> You're a racist, man. You're a racist. But it's... Um you know, the, 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 my long pole isn't some, isn't, isn't, isn't even as much of a, 
a problem as, as my... <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about helmets or any of the... Because it's to do, do with... The, the suit of armour is, is, is many things. So it's you don't get a suit of armour now, do you, if you, you become do. a sir? Yeah, no, you do get a suit of armour. You get a jousting pole. You have to joust regularly. I'm talking once a week. All right, uh, OK. You know, and, and you, you do you again, you you against other knights, like, so you against Serene McKellen and or something yeah, like that? Yeah, sure, yeah, so they'll come round and, and you know, we'll have some nice dinner together. Yeah, 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 yeah,